Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with our nuclear submarine. That fires ICBMs, or SCBMs? No, SBMCs, uh, uh, submarine launched ballistic missiles, SLBM. There you go, SLBMs. That's good. Uh, but ICBMs, we're going to go ahead and call it the submarine ICBM launcher thingamabobby. There you go. Anyway, today what I wanted to do was actually go on the inside and try and make some rooms uh, that we're actually able to use. So, let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Alright, so starting off, we can't actually see very much on the interior, so we're going to go ahead and change it. I'm actually going to go ahead and make it this color for right now, and essentially I'm going to go ahead and jug everything. It's going to take me some time to do this, so I'll be back with you guys very soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a little look on the inside now that I have painted it. And it is all being painted in this random, like, blue-gray color. And honestly, this blue-gray color seems okay. It does actually seem like it's going to work pretty well. Um, so this is the inside upstairs. Let's go downstairs a little bit if I can. There we go, and this is what it looks like down here. Honestly, with a bunch of stuff in here, it is going to look pretty good. Uh, if I go downstairs again, we've obviously got a little bit more of this color, and there you go. I don't know whether I'm going to paint the ceiling, I also don't know whether I'm going to paint the reactor, but um, all seems well, so this is pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some ladders, that is kind of the first thing that I actually want to add to this thing, so let's go ahead and do that. Here we go, ladder, go ahead and do it from here upwards, all the way to there. I'm going to go ahead and delete in between each one of these, I don't know whether I should actually, no, let's just have it be normal. There we go. We're then going to go downstairs. We're going to delete all of this and we're going to send this down. We're also going to go down below that and send it all the way to the bottom. There we go. That is actually everything. That's all of the ladders that we need and I'm happy with it, to be honest. So let's go ahead and paint this like so. There we go. Now we can climb down into the interior. That is great. Okie dokie. So now that we've done that, let's go down onto the actual interior and start splitting it up into pieces. So I'm actually going to try and find the front of the conning tower, which is actually in line with this bit right here. I'm then going to go ahead and box this off just like so, because I can. Uh, I don't want to do these guys on the outside, although actually maybe I do in the future uh, to add more bulkheads, but we won't do that just yet. Uh, and essentially this is going to be the size of the control room. I then want to go to the back of this, which is just after the, the fat line. There we go. And we can go ahead and box this off too. There we go. And continue it down, there we go, continue this bit upwards, keep it going, there we go, and that is Fandabby Dozy. Okay, so this is our control room. I'm now going to go ahead and add doors in between these, because we kind of need to. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's a door, yes. Hinge door, let's go ahead and smash this directly into the center like so, and fix this all together. We're then going to go to the rear and do the same thing, so like this, there we go. Go ahead and put this guy in here like so. And fix all of this too. Bam! There we go. So now we can walk around on the inside and that is fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, soften up this bit right here. When I say soften up, I just mean I'm going to go ahead and make it angled all the way to the top because I feel like I should. And there we go. All of that is now in place and it is a very cramped room. Honestly, it's a submarine. It probably should be cramped. So there you go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and send this down all the way down there. Good. And now we need to actually uh, figure out how to make other things work. So, I'm going to need other stuff. For example, I'm going to need uh, monitors in here. I don't know where they're going to go. Uh, and other stuff like that. Oh, and actually, one of the most important things we're going to need is lights. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it two by two. Uh, and the main reason for this is so we can have a red light and a white light. Um, I know I could do the RGB lights, but I don't know. I, I feel like changing of lights is, is fine. So let's go ahead and smash this into here like so. There's one and two, uh, three and four, five and six. There we go. So we get some lights. I'm now going to change some of those lights to be red. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. And now we can actually have like a, a dive mode or whatever uh, activated if we need to. With that being said, I'm actually going to go ahead and put two more in here as well. So let's go ahead and grab this. Do these guys right here. There's one and two. Go ahead and change one of the colors to be red. And there we go. Okay, so, um, I'm also gonna actually add another door in right here, because I, I would actually like to add, uh, add certain ways of getting around things, etc, etc. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do two doors right here. One is gonna lead into some sort of, like, bathroom kind of thing, and the other one is gonna lead straight into that door right there. So, let's go ahead and build this in real quickly. This one is gonna be the door, uh, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this, that's fine. 
We're going to go ahead and box this off to the side so we can actually get round. And that's it, actually. Let's go ahead and send this up. Send this up as well. And this guy is going to go like this too. All the way to the ceiling, please. Thank you. And this bit too. Excellent. And I'm also going to go ahead and seal this bit off on this side as well. Because that just makes sense to do so. Good. All right, I'm happy. I am very happy with this. All right, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. And yeah, we'll have a little toilet area uh, kind of thing on the inside right here. Uh, and that'll be fine. I know it's a little bit weird having a toilet going off of the main uh, room. But, um, I don't know, let's say someone really important needs a poo. Uh, they could go do it, you know? There you go. All right, cool. We're well, then going to go and do this side as well. There we go. And send that all the way across to there. Fantastic. And then fix this bit down the bottom. Just like so. Bam. Alright, nice. Yeah, so now if you want to go to the toilet, you go to this one. If you want to go uh, backwards in the submarine, you go this way. And that is fantastic. Alright, maybe it shouldn't be a toilet. Maybe, maybe it shouldn't be a toilet. But never mind, it's fine. We've now got it, so that's cool. Okay, so now it's time to come up with a bunch of different things that we need. For example, we need a bunch of different, um, I don't know, control points or whatever. So we're going to go and shove this guy right here. Uh, obviously, you will be looking at a wall, but that's okay because we're going to delete this. We're also going to delete that, and we're going to delete down to there. Kind of want to do this on both sides, actually, so let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. So both sides. We're going to get one of these guys. We're going to shove it right there, just like that. There we go. I'm then going to delete this, this, and this. Going to delete this, this, and this. And I'm going to continue it a little bit more and go downwards, actually quite far. Get ourselves a monitor that is going to go directly in there, which is a 3x5. Quite a big one, not going to lie, but there you go. It could go in there like so. And then we can box it off on the outside, uh, just like so. So there we go. Box that in there. Box this in here. And delete all of this to put this in instead. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we have a little monitor room. That's good. Uh, and essentially, we're going to go ahead and put in, like, I don't know, a few of these. Like, four of these or something. Uh, and that should be fine. Okay, so, so far, so good. We've got a bunch of different monitor stations uh, li listed, uh, dotted around uh, the inside of the control room. Uh, each of these needs to do certain things. They need to be different to each other, uh, and I'm not entirely sure what they need to do. I also need an actual, like, driver's bit as well, because I want that. So let's go ahead and get another seat. It is going to be controlled by one of these. Although, actually, maybe a helm would be kind of cooler, so we might do that instead. With that being said, let's go ahead and get another monitor. And uh, we'll do it that way instead. So three by three. Okay, cool. We're going to go ahead and smash it into this right here. There we go. And this is where we're going to control it from. So handle is what we need. Go ahead and smash it straight onto there like so. Oh, it needs to be higher. That's annoying. That's actually really annoying. Uh, but fine. There you go. Put that in there. Go ahead and do this guy right here like this. There we go. And then we can actually just get a monitor in front of that guy. And it'll be fine. So monitor right here, smash it in there like so, excellent. Um, I'm also, it's really annoying that this door's this way around. I'm actually going to flip it over. There we go, so it's going to be on that side instead, excellent. Uh, and then that means we can actually put extra monitors and stuff in here. So we'll have two, there's one. Fix it in the right way up, and then another one right here like this. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and put another one right here as well. Okay, good. So they're going to do some certain things as well, and that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I, again, I'm not actually very good with interiors, uh, especially in submarines and stuff like that. Um, because I, I don't know what to put in here, to be honest. But um, I'm going to try and make it look as good as I possibly can. Okay, so I was just looking through the colors that I currently have. I'm actually going to go ahead and make the floor this color, which uh, seems a little bit strange, but also will work. Um, and there we go. So now we actually have a bit of a control room. We have the driver's little panel right here. I am going to add loads of dials and stuff around as well because uh, we will kind of need that. But um, yeah, everything in here is sort of okay for now. Uh, on the other side, we're going to have a bedroom, I do believe. It's going to go in this bit. Uh, we also need a canteen as well because otherwise we won't be able to do stuff uh, like eating and uh, stuff like that. And uh, it's kind of necessary. So there you go. Okay, another thing that we kind of need to do, slash want to do, is um, actually add an escape hatch, or at least a way out. Uh, currently, we are right below this, so I don't want it there, but we can probably put it around here instead, and that should be okay. So if I deleted these, there we go. We get ourselves a hatch. We should be able to whack it onto here. Actually, can I use this one? Maybe I can use this one. We'll make it this color, and uh, we'll just smack it into there like this. Do -do 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 -do. Go ahead and delete that guy. Okay, and delete the rest of this. 
And I'm actually going to go ahead and move it over a little bit and put it there instead. Just so we can have this back and we can have our thing continue across the top. It just makes sense. Or a little bit of sense anyway. And you'll be able to dock to it too. Hmm. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking it needs to be in the center. So let's go ahead and delete all of this. There we go. Flip it over. And we'll have it there. Alright, good. Yeah, that makes more sense anyway. Okay, so for the emergency, we're going to go ahead and use a ladder as well. So you can climb it up and out of there just in case you need to. And uh, hopefully that will actually work out. Let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what it looks like so far. We'll actually go to the interior. I want to turn the lights on as well. That would be pretty good. Um, and yeah. Oh, this actually isn't looking too bad. Okay, so we go through here and this is obviously to the back side. These are our missile silo bits. That's good. And if we go this way, we have a bit of a storage cupboard slash toilet if you want to. I don't know. Do we need a toilet? Maybe. Okay, we're on the inside. I've actually gone ahead and put these in right here. I've gone ahead and put the lights. Accidentally, the red lights are on there and then the white lights are on this one. But honestly, that is A-OK -okay, and we can see around in here now, which is pretty cool. With that being said, I also want to add a bit of a periscope in this because I think that makes sense. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, so this is our current situation. I've gone ahead and went down into the main area and I put a pivot in the roof. From there, I'm actually going to go up and above it and I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm then going to get a slider, uh, which I believe is a slider. Are they called sliders? I don't know whether they are. Track? Maybe it's called track. Yeah, hey, there we go. So you want one of these guys and we're going to go ahead and put it on there like so. Um, I'm then going to go ahead and get some other stuff. Obviously, we need some track for it to send up. So we're going to go up to, I guess, there. Yeah, sure. And uh, the rest of it is going to be on other things. So we're going to get some rocket boosters. Here we go, these guys. And we're going to go ahead and send it up using those. There we go. Okay, nice. We're then going to need a pivot to allow it to turn from side to side. So let's go ahead and, and get a pivot next. Do, 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 pivot. Yes, here we go. Robotic pivot. Nice. Go ahead and make it this color and whack it on there. And then we're going to need a camera. So grab a camera. We're going to use one of these ones. And we're going to shove it on here like this. There we go. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and shove this guy on there like so. And that's it. Okay, so this is our periscope. Hopefully it works. It might. It might not. Um, and that is going to be on a controller down here somewhere. So if we can, let's grab this guy. Send it down. A little bit. There we go. Good. Get ourselves a handle. And whack it on there as low as we can, which I believe is actually there. And then we're going to go ahead and put a monitor in here and that'll be fine. Here we go. Monitor. Yes. Um, I think we're going to go with like a 2 by 3 Smash it on there like so. And then attach all this together so that hopefully it actually works. So spacebar is going to turn it on. Actually, Occupy it's going to turn it on. I'm sure that'll be okay. Um, and then one is going to be for... Do, 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 do. IR mode, sure. Um, up and down. Actually, I need a switch box. Yes. Okay, switch box. Just a normal one. Um, essentially, when I push a button, it's going to go up. When I push another button, it's going to go down. That'll be fine. So connect this to here. That's good. Connect this to two. And there we go. So when I press it, it goes up and the other way as well. Okay, cool. A and D is going to do things. A and D is also going to do things on this one. That's good. And field of view is going to go for up and down. There we go. Okay, is that everything that I can actually check? Change? I guess? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Give it electricity and see if it works. So go up to there, do this guy. Go up to there, do this guy and this guy. And we're actually going to go to the switch box. We're going to have to make on one and two. Uh, sorry, off minus one. There we go. Okay. The last thing that I need to do then is actually seal this off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do this right here. Do this right here. Do it on both sides. There we go. Do this guy right here and this guy right here. Good. We're then going to need to do the same thing in this room, which is fine. Up to there, down to here, and up to there. Okay. Spawn it in. Let's see what it does. Oh, I was actually just thinking as well, by the way, we need to change it slightly because this guy isn't a velocity pivot and it needs to be. So we're going to go to pivots. Velocity. We're going to go ahead and shove it on here like this. There we go. Merge that guy with that guy. Very good. Okay, and then the same on this one if we can. So let's do this. And there we go. I think that's correct. It could be. It also could be wrong. I don't know. But spawn it in. Let's see what it does. Okay, we're on the inside. Camera is on and it is not turning because I haven't attached it to anything. Yikes. Okay, let me go down to here. One second. Uh, we need to attach A and D 
to this. We need to also attach it to there. And that's it. Did I give them electricity? Oh, so many things are happening. It's so warm in my room right now. I am I'm getting a headache. But anyway, let's go ahead and see if this is... Yeah, okay. So it wasn't actually connected to the electricity at all. For reasons. So there you go. Now it's connected. Let's see if it'll work. Okay. Inside the room we are. Good. Go ahead and turn this on. Turn it sideways. Yes. And turn it the other way. Also works. Zoom it in. Okay. Zooming in works. Zoom it out. Okay. Fantastic. And IR mode if we need it. Okay. Good. All of that actually works. Now if I press 2... Ah, it should extend on two, but it isn't extending on two, and why is that? I have no idea. I don't know. Uh... Okay, so that's connected to there. Aha, okay, right. It's because this guy is actually connected to the wrong thing. So if I cut this and paste it again... Actually, it's all wrong anyway. One second. We need a velocity pivot, but we want it to be this color anyway. So go ahead and do that. There we go. Now merge this, and now it will be fine. However, it won't be because I didn't connect the electricity again, because I'm silly. But let me go ahead and do that, and then we have a periscope that actually works. Alright, so this guy goes down to A and D. Also connects to the electricity, also connects to the electricity there, and off we go. Alright, now it'll work. It will actually work. So, inside the room we go. Turn the lights on. Get in the seat. Turn it sideways. Fantastic. Press 2. It is extending upwards. And there we go. Lovely. All right, and then come back down. Yeah, nice. All right, our periscope actually works. Fantastic. Okay, so one more thing that I actually really wanted to do as well is actually add another camera to the front of this where the driver will be driving from. I know it's not really done like this in real life, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway so that we can actually drive it around uh, using a camera. I, I just think it's a little bit more um, useful. You know, I want to be able to see in front of me. Why not? So, attach this uh, camera, video, down to here if we need it. There we go, good. Uh, I would then actually like a left and right camera as well, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just have some small ones mounted to the side, here we go. Go ahead and do this right here, fantastic. And connect this down to there, and also down to there. Okay, that's our left and right cameras. Also give those guys some electricity so that they work. And there we go. Nice, so far so good. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this will actually work now. We're going to go to the inside. Here we go. Nice. And we're going to go ahead and sit in this seat. But first, we're going to go ahead and turn on the lights. There we go. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. So we can see left. We can see right. We can see forwards. And we can also see what the periscope sees right here. So if I go to this seat and I press 2. And let's say we're underwater and we're just looking around. The captain can actually see what we're looking at. That's pretty good. Okay, so now... Maybe we can actually move this thing forwards. Oh, no, we can't. Um, but you know what? This is okay for right now. I'm actually really happy with the way this thing is looking. Um, and honestly, the periscope, kind of cool too. What I want from you guys in the comments down below, if you can, let me know what each of these should actually be. We need like a radio operator. We need a sonar thingamabobby. We need a radar thingamabobby as well. We need lots of stuff. Let me know what each of them should be. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.